Let me hear you good and loud. Ah, one. Ah, two. Ah, three. Take me out to the ball. Take me out to the ball. Here in Cooperstown, New York, at Double Day Field, let's check out some baseball. And here's a park they'll play the Hall of Fame game in every year. I believe it's in August. So a lot of the all-time greats have stepped on the field right there. Just a little look into downtown Cooperstown. Baseball themed everywhere. Mickey Place, Stuart Joe's. There's a wax museum down the street. Uh, you have Scrimsky Sports. And a baseball town hotel. Let's take a look at the current baseball standings here. Oh, this is terrible. The Cardinals and even even the Brewers of all teams are ahead of my Reds. The Brewers. When the entrance, look at the big train, Walter Johnson. And we'll see admission price now for adults, twenty-five dollars. Here's our first room in the timeline of baseball. Got all these gold balls here. And we all know the first professional team, Cincinnati Reds. Field the same. Why? Because. Oh, he's center field. He's center field. <laughs> now we've all heard Tinker's Devers to Chance. Here's Evers Glove, second baseman. And there's a gold watch fob from the 1907 World Championship. Babe Ruth there. Here's two of the balls he used when he was a pitcher with the Red Sox. And here is his bat when he played for the Red Sox in 1919. 36 inches, 40 ounces. I say he hit this ball 500 feet. Here's Babe Ruth's glove. And a jersey he used in 1930. Babe Ruth's autograph baseball. And it says right here the ball such as this still can catch up to $10,000 on the market. There's Babe's famous number three jersey from the Yankees. Who picks up the ball? Some Ty Cobb gear. Now, if any of you have never seen the movie Cobb, you need to check that out. One of my favorite lines from that was when a reporter asked him, it's like, Ty Cobb, what do you think you'd hit against today's pitching? And he said, oh, 280. The reporter's like, 280? You're a lifetime 367 hitter. Why, why so low? He's like, because I'm 63 years old, you idiot. Be the greatest pitcher of all time, Denton True Cy Young. And here is the final jersey he ever wore. Look, if you're the coach, you must know all the players. I certainly do. Well, you know, I mean, I never met the guys, so you'll have to tell me their names, and then I'll know who's playing on the team. This is a tribute to the Negro Leagues. And my favorite player from that era, they get some artifacts from Cool Papa Bill. They say this guy was his 
fastest player of all time. Pioneer himself, Jackie Robinson, who's number 42, is now retired by all of baseball. Look, you got a first baseman? Certainly. Who's playing first? That's right. When you pay off the first baseman every month, who gets the money? Every dollar of it. <laughs> all I'm trying to find out is the first baseman. the infamous who? San Diego chick. Who gets the money? He does. Every dollar. Sometimes his wife comes down and yeah. <laughs> Look at those moves. Hawker of the Iron Man, Lou Gehrig. Baseball cap worn by him. Actual locker with the Yankees. And his jersey from the final season in 1939. Stand the man who's his locker. Crying in baseball. I'm not asking you who's on who's second. Who's on first? I don't know. Third base. And the left field the same? Why? Because. Oh, he's center field. <laughs> look, look, look. You got a pitcher on a team? Sure. The pitcher's name. Tomorrow. You don't want to tell me today? I'm telling you, man. Go ahead. Tomorrow. What time? What time what? What time tomorrow are you going to tell me who's pitching? Now, listen. Who is not pitching? I'll who break is... your arm, you say. Who's on I first? Get... I want to know what's the pitcher's name. What's on second? I don't know. Third base. Today. Today. And Kamar's pitcher. Now you've got it. All we got is a couple of days on the team. <laughs> you know, I'm a catcher, too. So they tell me. I get behind the plate, do some fancy catching. Kamar's pitching on my team, and a heavy hitter gets up. Yes. Now, the heavy hitter bunched the ball. When he bunched the ball, me being a good catcher, I want to throw the guy out of first base. Cap worn by Gaylord Perry when he pitched a no-hitter on September 17, 68, to defeat Bob Gibson and Cardinals winning nothing. I'm going to check to see if there's any Vaseline underneath. <laughs> Uh, looks like he kept it clean that game. Oh, naturally. Naturally? Naturally. So I pick up the ball and I throw it to naturally. No, you yeah, don't. Albert Pujols, jersey with the Cardinals, and I wonder if he'll get to wear that one last time. This is the bat and the ball that Sammy Sosa used in his 62nd home run in 1998. And him and Mark McGuire were in that race, the all-time home run record. And here's a team that should have never moved, the Seattle Pilots. Should still be in Seattle. One of their great dynasties was the Big Red Machine of the 70s here. You got Pete Rose, Jersey, Joe Morgan, and Johnny Bench, his gloves. There's a lot of gold gloves in them. Who could forget Tony Perez and the nasty peat drink, chocolate-flavored beverage? Awful. Here's a Milwaukee Brewers jersey worn by Raleigh Fingers, who actually had the pleasure of meeting one time at a charity golf event. Uh, good guy. I had a chance to sit down and talk to him for a few minutes. He had some interesting stories. And was there ever a better jersey than this? I didn't even know there were that many shades of orange till then. And here's a portrait of this slugger, Mike Smith, who's actually from Dayton, Ohio. Actually went to school with a couple of my uncles. On audience here, Robin Younts, batting helmet, Don Mittingly's glove, Mattingly's glove. Oh, the Bash Brothers, Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire. And here's one of the greatest hitters of all time. Let's 
Meyer with Tony Gwynn. This was an exciting time in baseball. This race to break the Rogers Maris's 61 home run this season record by these two, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. Now, of course, they both ended up with a little controversy with the steroids, but it was fun when it happened. He was drinking more than milk. I was hoping to see the bloody sock. Ichiro broke the hit record in the season with 262. And I remember these. Home plate from Ebbets Field. Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, which I visited that stadium not long before they tore it down. It wasn't too impressive at that time. Another famous mascot. The crazy, the wacky, the Philly fanatic. Floating scoreboard from Comiskey Park that Bill Vett brought in. It was a little more successful than some of his other ideas. I get behind the plate, do some fancy catching. Tomorrow's pitching on my team and a heavy hitter gets up. Yes. Now, the heavy hitter bunched the ball. When he bunched the ball, me being a good catcher, I want to throw the guy out of first base, so I pick up the ball and throw it to who? Now, that's the first thing you've said right. I don't even know why. Get out of here. When I hit it out of the ballpark, I thought it was... Here's old Hammer and Hank's jersey. The rest is sold. Even though he's home run champ, I still think he might have been the, one of the most underrated players, believe it or not. I've had an opportunity to do some great things, and I took advantage of it. Babe Ruth Crown awarded to Hank Here's Hank Aaron's oh, final home run. run. Wonder what Dick Drago's up to these Baseball days. Baseball was just something that was there for me to do. A home run is a home run. A base hit is a Here's base hit. home run. But if you can do something to help somebody. Yeah, this would have been the record at the time. No and this was. And, and this day, was. You can bring a smile to that person's face. I think that you've done more than hit a home run. You hit a grand slam. You know, Bucky Harris, the Yanks manager, gave me a job as coach for as long as you're on the team. Look, Habit, if you're the coach, you must know all the players. I certainly do. Well, you know, I, mean, I never met the guys, so you'll have to tell me their names, and then I'll know who's playing. Here's Lou Gehrig, with his 21, 30 played in a row. Well, he'd be surpassed by Cal Ripken. Wow, 2,632 games played in a row. Two Ironmen. Yeah, we probably all heard for Ted Williams. Nap, yes. you Duffy, I'm sure you hardcore baseball fans now. Roger Hornsby, but maybe I'm the only one who knows Gary Reedus. He never hit 462 in a season for the Reds. Here's a little bit on uh, T. Rose when he passed up Ty Cobb. Finished his career with a still record of 4,256. Wade Boggs jersey. We got a Pete Rose bat. Ichiro. 262 hits in a single season. Roger Maris broke Babe Ruth's record when he hit his 61st home run. 
Mark McGuire, who fought it out with Sammy Sosa at 70. And Barry Bonds, 70. Here are the many hats worn by Nolan Ryan on his no hitter. So he threw four of them in his time with the Angels. Fifth one with the Astros. And sixth and seventh one with the Texas Rangers. You got outfield? Sure. The left fielder's name. Why? I just thought I'd ask. Well, I just thought I'd tell you. Now tell me who's playing left field. Who is playing first? I'm not. Stay out of the infield. Oh, Tallest baseball player in history, John Ralph. I'm not asking you who's Six foot eleven. And Eddie Gadell, a mere three foot seven, and his one at bat. Believe it or not, finished in a walk. Check out that strike zone there. Get about. Four inches to get it that in there. Satchel Page pitched up until he was 59 years old. The man I'm familiar with, Joe Nuxall, the youngest pitcher ever, who was only 15. Played in the major leagues, mainly due because of the war. But... All we got is a couple of days on the field. You know, I'm a catcher too. So they tell I get behind the plate, do some fancy catching. Come on, pitching on my team in a heavy inning. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Just to throw the ball at first base. Yes. Now who's got it? Naturally. <laughs> An old baseball card in the spokes. Here's the Holy Grail of baseball cards. Honest Wagner. It sells regularly over a million dollars. That card right there. A piece of, piece of cardboard. Oops. I thank the uh, Brewers for giving him to the Reds. Here are the latest inductees to play for the Cardinals and the Brewers. Catcher. Larry Walker with the Expos and Rockies. And a guy some of you might have heard of. Well, let's see, we have on the bags, we have... Derek Jeter. What's on second? I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find I out. I say, who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. He's got a little bit of bling. Yes. You want to be the coach, too? Yes. Do you know the fellow's name? Well, I should. Well, then, who's on first? Yes. I mean, the fellow's... Hope you enjoyed this visit to Cooperstown and the Baseball Hall of Fame. And who knows where the toll road will lead to next.